Hey guys, what's up? Uh, it's Zach the Tron here from One Hive Gazette here with my next video and this is the first of a kind of an add-on to the series I already have going. So as you saw, I just posted the live base build video and then I opened it up for a friendly challenge. A lot of you Town Hall 9s did come over so I'm going to be showing some of your attacks on my bases. Um, couldn't show quite everyone that, that attacked uh, or every attack that is. I tried to show every person though at least one of their attacks as a thanks for coming by and taking the time to attack my base. So anyway, I do apologize to you, those of you guys who missed the opportunity to attack the base because I know it was a small time window and only a few people uh, had the opportunity to come over. So sorry to the people who wanted to attack it but weren't able to. Might have to wait to the next one a little farther down the road. But anyway, I learned quite a bit about the base and what changes could be made to make it better what its strengths and weaknesses are, so be sure to watch the last video seeing how I designed it, and then once you've watched that, uh, continue watching the rest of this video, and we'll talk about kind of what's good about this base, what's bad about this base. So anyway, uh, let's get into the first attack here though. This is um, just one of the viewers, a uh, loyal viewer who came over to hit this base. His name is Chris Donates a lot, it looks like, and uh, I'm not sure if he knew where the traps are, but one thing I did is I put a troll Tesla boom right there that I didn't show during the live base build because some of you guys saw where all the traps were, but um, even if you did, you had no idea the Tesla was there because I didn't show that. And uh, after I was done recording, I made that change just to throw some of you guys off and didn't do too much against Chris. He dropped a few hogs to take it out. Uh, he's coming in with a stoned attack, has the three golems, and then the bowlers from the CC making their way on into the base has the jump uh, poisons for the CC troops. I had a baby dragon, a few Valks, and like a wizard in there. Uh, just kind of a standard CC. Dropped down the rage and uh, his troops are going down pretty quickly because this is a compact base. Now he doesn't have his king, you probably noticed that. And his queen is only level 15. So his king is upgrading, I, said, I think he said. So that does uh, hinder his ability to attack this base but still puts up a pretty good fight, and you can see the hogs are coming through, and they'll get another chunk of the base taken out, but there is that other double giant bomb set left up. Not the best double giant bomb set, it's kind of by the uh, air sweeper, if you guys remember from the last video, but uh, either way, he does a pretty good job on this base here, and takes out a good portion of it. The king might have made the difference, maybe not. I uh, didn't quite get to my hero compartment, because right here I believe they'll hit the double giant bomb set. That'll kill a few of the hogs and the rest will go down just to the point defense. So anyway, uh, good try there. I'll go ahead and fast forward and uh, we'll make our way into looking at the next attack. Okay, let's just let this wrap up and boom, right there it ends. Okay, nice job to Chris. Uh, pretty solid stuff, especially for only one hero. Let's get into the next one and uh, this is Sebastian. He's coming in here with a P.E.K.K.A. Yeah, this is an HB HP attack, if I remember correctly. Um, this was a great attack. I'm, I'm recording over this. I previously recorded these attacks. I'm just voicing them over in case you guys are curious how this is working out. Uh, but this was an awesome attack, and you guys will see what I mean as it shapes up. One thing I could have done is put a few Seeking Air Mines by the uh, hero compartment to take a gamble. Uh, with some baby dragons because there wasn't a whole lot besides that one archer tower that could target the baby dragons So they did, did a great job creating the funnel for him and uh, that definitely helped out the attack So the king goes in the pekkas the queen everything makes their way on in has the healers on the pekkas they take out the uh, the queen and the uh, king real quickly in my hero compartment and they're not going to be affected by those spring traps really because the pekkas Obviously, don't go flying to spring traps, so that's one bonus to using HBHP instead of bringing the giants like you typically do in an HGHB. So anyway, uh, that one air defense is doing work on his healers, though. Uh, that's pretty good placement because the queen couldn't take it out, but it's close enough to take out those healers. So uh, that was a good design part feature thing on that base right there, having the air defense in that position. But here come the hogs on the right side of the base, has the heal. Um, there is that double giant bomb set in there, so they probably are going to trigger that um, after they take out that mortar at the bottom. Uh, anyway, though, has some bowlers left up, has his heroes left up. We'll see what they're able to do. Right there, the hogs are going to go down. Uh, so it looks like he'll run out of hogs here, 
but he still has quite a few P.E.K.K.A.s, the King, the Queen. Um, it helped having, I think, the, uh, the anti-Valk part, which is that little core that leads out of the base, because that helped get his heroes and everything off track, so they weren't really in there to help out the Hogs. Because of that, the Hogs died, and his slow-moving troops are what's left up, so I think uh, he's going to have some trouble doing this in the amount of time he has left up. That Troll Tesla is going to draw everything over to the right side here, uh, we'll fast forward just a tiny bit just for sake of time in this video. You can see here uh, as things fast forward, he'll get that Tesla taken out. Uh, the queen is going to get through that wall right there. He had a minion, but it died to an air trap, so it couldn't take out the cannon. The archer is helping out a little bit, but that's not doing a whole lot of damage. The queen goes down, so it's just left up to this bowler. And had this bowler had some good positioning, it might have been able to take out both buildings on the bounce. But you see it's missing that second building right there. So because of that, uh, that gold mine doesn't quite go down, but an awesome attack to Sebastian, 99%. I think HB HP is pretty good against this base, and uh, I'll talk a little bit towards the end of the video about what adjustments I think can be made to improve this base. So uh, next attack is by Avenger. He is from Poetic Darkness, so definitely a prestigious clan. Uh, means he's probably going to be a pretty solid attacker. And uh, he has level 30-30 heroes, which definitely helps out as well. Um, coming in here with an HG HB attack, and he previously said before this attack started that he was going to come in here and three-star my anti-HG HB base with HG HB. So a pretty uh, bold statement right there. Let's see if he can come through on his word. Um, coming at the base from the left compartment, because I'm pretty sure he suspected or maybe knew. He might have known where the traps are anyway. But he was didn't want his always giants to go flying the spring traps. So by having them go in the left side there, they're avoiding that Tesla compartment that has all the spring traps. So that definitely helps him out a little bit. Um, but his troops are still starting to go down. The queen and uh, some of the bowlers went to the outside of the base here. Uh, sending in the hogs, it looks like, on the top side of the base. They do have that double giant bomb set to contend with. He has a heal, so we'll see how he uses that. Um, the Giants are going down right here. They'll get through that compartment, maybe take out the Tesla, but they are there is some spring traps in there, so they will go down uh, pretty soon. The Queen has to pop her ability right there, and uh, she should go down to the Expo in just a moment. Uh, Teslas are still up. Has that heal, but I'm not sure how, what, how much good it's going to do him, really, because what can he even heal at this point? Uh, minute 28 left. We will go ahead and fast forward just a little bit for sake of time like we did in the last attack. Okay, so as things uh, speed up here, you can see his troops are going to make their way through right there. The healers are going to help keep everything at full health, and uh, the air defense takes one of them out. But right here as they pass over, double giant bomb set goes off. It's just the king left up. Um, he should get all these defenses taken out, but there's the troll Tesla in the corner. The air defense taking out the healers. So there's no time to get the job done because there's still a few uh, gold mines and stuff on the left. He goes ahead and uh, puts down a poison to, I don't know, flag my troll Tesla or just express his anger. But I'm going to give him a second chance and we'll go ahead and take a look at what he does on the second attempt because I think it's worthy to show. Um, it kind of talks about how the, or it shows how this base is good, how it's weak on certain things. And uh, he's coming at the top here with the same attack, but he's... Uh, trying his luck on the top of this base. Maybe a different angle will help out. Goes ahead, creates the funnel. Uh, the Giants will stay at pretty much full health because there's not a lot of defenses, especially with all four healers on them. Uh, they're going to do fine. Sends in the bowlers with their rage. Uh, it looks like we'll just let everything beat through that wall right there. Uh, getting into that first compartment with that air defense right there. Uh, King is going to go on a walk right here, but uh, that shouldn't be too much of an issue. The CC troops going down right here to the poison and the queen. A few bowlers actually go around and follow the king, and the rest of the troops, mainly the giants and the queen, are going to continue on the right side of the base here. So as troops are moving through, everything's looking okay. Um, hard to tell at this point how the attack is going to shape up. Has that next rage uh, to get those giants moving through. A few go flying to the spring trap, but for the most part, everything's staying up. Uh, the healers are on the queen now. Now they're back on the giants, kind of switching back and forth. Uh, there goes my queen. She goes down to his queen and uh, actually still has a huge group of hogs plus the heal and the rage left over. So it looks like he's just waiting on the right time to deploy it. 
I think he's going to put a few down on that troll Tesla on the right. We couldn't quite see that, but he put two hogs down to take out that troll Tesla. Wasn't going to let him, uh, wasn't going to let the troll Tesla get him twice there. So anyway, those hogs will go down, but the main group is still yet to be sent in. I think he's waiting for those giants to get a little deeper in the base because he has enough time. So he wants to make sure they're tanking and they absorb some of those spring traps, I guess. Uh, so right there, the two spring traps will go off. Has the rage for the queen that he drops down. And uh, here come the hogs coming in at all these different angles. I think he wants to neutralize that double giant bomb set. So by the way he sent them in, looks like it's going to be a trigger one at a time. Or actually maybe even only one bomb actually even gets triggered. So great deployment there by him, uh, keeping his hogs pretty much at full health. Now the Scully Traps are going to start to get them down a little bit right here. I think, uh, yeah, there's at least one Scully Trap on them. So most of his hogs are going to die here, but still has a few left up, plus the queen. And he has enough time to go in there and get the three star. Uh, so we'll go ahead and fast forward because it's pretty much over. Just has to clean up and he has enough time to do it. So nice attack to Avenger. Uh, be it, not getting the three star the first time, but gets to the second time. And uh, once again, I'll talk a little bit about some of the changes I want to make to this base based off of this, and maybe that'll help you guys with your own base building. Uh, but let's get right into the next attack here. This is by uh, Tolkera, Tolsera, however, yeah, Tolsera probably uh, coming in on this base with a uh, stoned. Yeah, this is another looks like stoned bowler attack. Um, a hobo, I think people call it, or a go hobo, whatever, whatever works. But he also looks like he has the king down, uh, upgrading. So that was unfortunate. We had two people with the king upgrading, so couldn't quite see the full abilities that they're attacking. But um, both these attacks were pretty solid. This one comes in here uh, at the bottom left compartment instead of the top, instead of the right side, like we saw on the other uh, hobo attack. So. Uh, has two jumps for the for the uh, troops, but I, I just think the jumps weren't needed because the troops go down pretty quickly. The second jump is pretty much wasted. Maybe another heal for his hogs because uh, he bit off a solid piece of the base there uh, with his troops, but at this point, that's as much as they can get him really, and it's time for the hogs, and he only has one heal, which doesn't help. But they'll take out a good part of the base here. I think he'll drop down that heal in just a moment. The double jump bomb set is still up. Um, Actually, looks like all his hogs are going to go down right here. Still has two left over, but it's not going to matter. So, yeah, good attack to Tulsera. A nice try. Didn't have the king. That would have helped. Um, but this base is pretty solid, I think, against this kind of uh, stoned uh, hobo attack. So, anyway, moving on. Have a few more to look at. Last one from one of the uh, viewers, and then we'll look at some OHG guys take on this base. People from Genesis. See how kind of the top-level attackers deal with this base. Because uh, I want to show that as well as your guys' attacks. So we have Ozeal coming in here, and uh, looks like he has a Govaho trained up. Um, honestly, it was going to be tough from the start with his level of troops. So we'll see kind of how things shape up right here. But he only has the level 2 Golems, the level 2 Valks, it looks like, and that level 10 Queen. Uh, this is his alternate account, which is one in One Hive Trinity. I don't know who he actually is, but I, I think his main account might be in. Genesis or Alpha, I'm not exactly sure, but like I said, tough to take out this base with such low level uh, troops and heroes. So comes in here with the bowlers, the Valks, uh, has that jump, uh, but the king is walking and the golems have all been eaten up, so his troops are starting to take some damage right here. Uh, his queen goes down to my defensive queen, the CC troops coming out, that baby dragon's doing quite a bit of damage, and uh, things are not going to get much better, so we'll, we'll go ahead and fast forward. Because I think we know how this attack is going to end. Nice try to Ozeal, but the hogs will come in. They're not going to do a whole lot either if you go flying to the spring trap. And that'll, that'll pretty much wrap it up. Alright, so at this point, I think we're on to the first of the Genesis attackers. Yep, we have Magoovs taken on uh, 34, or I guess Mike is his name. Uh, but anyway, taken on 30, or not 34, that's his name. Taken on my base. I'm, I'm in war recap mode. Uh, but anyway, he's coming in here with a Govaho, and we'll see how, you know, a 30-30, or not 30-30 heroes, almost 30-30, uh, how a high-level hero attacker uh, can take on my base, who has the, uh, the experience of being in a lot of good wars. But I think one of the main things that helped out this attack was having the queen take out both my heroes with just poisons. So you'll see what I mean here. 
Uh, queen takes out the king right there. Because there's no defenses really on her, doesn't have to use a rage or the ability for that. And uh, right here, she'll step up and aggro my defensive queen. And once again, the poison's all that's needed. So it takes out both the heroes uh, for that little investment. So maybe a small change to this base, like having the heroes be closer together and engage at the same time, could have helped uh, force at least a rage on his queen. But anyway, right here, she steps up, uh, has to drop the rage, but also because the Valks and the baby dragon do a lot of damage, pops the ability, so maybe a bit of a wasted rage, but uh, he'll still get some extra damage from her for a little while. Uh, comes in with the Valks and the Bowlers. Uh, no wall break, or has a few wall breakers actually, which he didn't even drop, I don't think. But everything makes their way on into the base here. Uh, the Bowlers are going to get some great value because the base is so compact. That's one of the things that Bowlers uh, are good against compact bases, so you have to keep that in mind when you're building your Town Hall 9 base. Uh, so anyway, everything's moving on in here, uh, getting, in, getting into the core. Now a few Valks do go to the outside, which was the plan. Uh, you can see that worked out pretty nicely there. But uh, that being said, a, a few troops do stay in the middle of the base, especially the bowlers and the heroes and the healers also. And because those troops are in the middle, uh, it doesn't really matter that the Valks went to the outside. It's still uh, not looking well for my base here. And uh, there's only a few defenses left up really. Time is, you know, 50 seconds, not going to be able to stop him. A few hogs, which he even saved for that troll Tesla. So that was a good play by him there. And he'll drop in these last two hogs for cleanup. Uh, shout out to him for not swagging the heal spell. I do appreciate that. Uh, but anyway, awesome attack to uh, Magoovs, taking out my base and doing it very nicely with the Valks. So anyway, we'll take a look at one more. I wanted to have one air attack for you guys. Uh, this is Yaji, and uh, he was nice enough to bring an air attack. Even if that's not how he might have, you know, typically took it out or tried to three-star this base. But um, he'll try an air attack just for the sake of mixing it up. Coming in here with the queen walk, trying to get in and take out uh, the queen and a few air defenses. He also has the king and a jump to get in there and specifically target that queen, I think. Also, um, one thing to think about is because the, the, the uh, air defense, uh, kind of the bottom one near the queen there, because the wall has been removed for the HG, HB attacks, a king and a golem can go straight from the hero compartment into that air defense. So keep that in mind. That's one weakness potentially about having the, the one wall missing uh, right there at the top of the hero compartment. So anyway, the king enters the base right here. Uh, the skelly traps do help delay him a little bit. So he'll come in here, he'll engage the queen, but his ability has worn off, and uh, he actually won't get the queen taken out. Uh, but his, his own queen, Yadji's queen, on the left there, almost went down, but the second rage saved her. So she's still up. Uh, she's already taken out the CC troops. He's invested quite a bit in her, two rages, the ability, um, all that stuff to get as far as she has. But she takes out the enemy queen, or my queen, I guess, however you look at it, uh, plus the air defense. So still three air defenses left up, but um, has the pretty hefty La Loon portion of the attack still yet to come. And good deployment right here. I think he knew where that troll Tesla was, so maybe if he hadn't seen that, that would have helped me a little bit. But uh, because the troll Tesla goes down, he's doing a good job uh, kind of surrounding the base here uh, from all sides with these balloons. The Lava Hound is about to go down right there. It pops. Uh, the, everything is converging though, and the balloons don't have a lot of travel time on these compact bases. Another thing to keep in mind, uh, another kind of uh, weakness of a compact base, even though I still prefer them at Town Hall 9, you gotta think about that. So anyway, uh, just the Archer Tower left, the, there are only like one or two balloons really, I think three balloons uh, right there, that one goes down. Uh, so almost the balloons go down, but they have just enough juice in them to take out uh, the last archer tower and he has plenty of troops for cleanup so it looks like I don't know maybe I suck at building bases for Town Hall 9 but um, honestly I think if people used a standard HGHB it would defend pretty well as far as the Valk attack that was used on it uh, that one you know a little more questionable as far as the base design but um, the one thing I can say concretely a good change would be and I talked about this with Avenger who had the uh, HGHB attack you saw a little while back is to make a um, an air defense island which is basically an air defense in its own compartment 
uh, surrounded by walls, but there's two tiles between every wall so the bowlers can't reach it. And uh, that's a great way to take out healers because in pretty much every attack that got the three star, uh, the healers played a big role, especially in the Govaho attacks, uh, but also in that almost three star on the H G H or the H B H P attack. Uh, the main thing was the healers staying up and keeping all the troops up, so that definitely didn't help. And by having the air defense kind of isolated, there's a much better chance that it will get, it'll get a shot at taking out the healers. So that's one change I might make. Uh, but anyway, let me know what you think in the comments below, what changes to this base, how you think it held up overall, if you think these types of bases are worth using, all that kind of stuff in the comments below, as well as how you like this series and how you like the friendly challenges that I plan on showing after every live base build. So anyway, I got the survey results coming out tomorrow, so stay tuned for that. should be a fun video, and I'll see you guys then. Bye, Sectatron out.